Okay, so we're going to go over Teresa's x-rays and her MRI here. Her x-rays show a little bit of narrowing, as I talked about earlier in the talk. But basically, this is her MRI right here. An MRI is done with magnets. It's not done with radiation. And it's a three-dimensional. It's almost like taking cold cut slices through the knee. So this is the front of the knee here. This is the thigh bone. This is the shin bone. Bone should look kind of blackish grayish on an MRI. You see this white area right here? That's the area of stress or microfracturing. That's an abnormal area. What happens is the cartilage on the end of the bone, which looks kind of like the white on the end of a chicken bone, kind of like the tread on a tire, when that wears down, that's what arthritis is. So you see this almost like divot or pothole here. As that cartilage wears down, more and more force gets transmitted to the bone underneath. This is real bone right here. So on the surface, it's hard. If you peel that off, it looks kind of porous like coral. As that cartilage wears down, more and more force gets transmitted to the bone underneath. The bone can start to break down faster and the body can heal itself. And you can get these little stress or microfracture soft spots. You can see one right here on the thigh bone. And then you can see one on the shin bone right here, right here and here. So she had two areas of stress or microfracturing. So that soft spot on the MRI, what I did was I drilled in here and I filled this in with some calcium phosphate. That's those white areas. So I filled those soft spots in to reinforce that soft bone underneath to give more support to the cartilage over the top so it doesn't keep breaking down and wearing down like you see with a pothole in the road.